This is Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Welcome to Bryant-Denny Stadium, home of the Crimson Tide. This place is charged up and ready for a big game today. And a game like this is what makes college football great. Yeah, there's history and tradition, but right here, right now, there is tremendous intensity and bitterness on this field. You can feel it. As we'll see, the number 13 team in the country, LSU Tigers, taking on the sixth-ranked team in the land, the Alabama Crimson Tide. 3A Sports College Football. I'm Chris Fowler here in the booth with Kirk Herbstreit. I think we've talked long enough, Kirk. Let's get this game going. teams come on the field now to send this one away. He's going to return it from near the goal line. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. So Alabama's offense is going to get the chance to start this game off. So here we go. Buckle up. Alabama and LSU. This one has a history of being hard-hitting group from the very first snap. And Chris, it's always a game that obviously impacts the SEC standings at the end of the year and really the national rankings. So a lot at stake for both these teams. You know, Chris, you think about it, efficiency has always kind of been the description of a great Alabama quarterback. Man, think about the playmakers that they've had over the last few years at this position. Jalen, Tua, Bryce Young recently. Just a different level of quarterback play and really gives this offense an edge to it. Quarterback still with the football. The pickup is seven yards, now second and three. Last time they played, of course, Alabama won comfortably. That was an embarrassing day for the LSU faithful. They have not forgotten it. Chris, I don't think anybody's going to forget that loss because it was so surprising to see LSU get blown out. But they feel much better about this matchup. Off play action, he's looking to throw. Bringing pressure. Junior steps up and makes an impact play. This is exactly how you can slow down the momentum and the rhythm of an offense. you got to get some tackles for a loss and some sacks. This time, they come up with a sack by getting after that quarterback. Offense will try to convert a third and long in the 27. We'll see if the defense brings the blitz. Looking to pass. It's Milrow. Receiver makes the grab. He stopped short of the marker, so it's fourth down now. Okay. Quarterback looks downfield to make this throw. He wants to be able to get the ball to be able to pick up enough yards for a first down. But instead, he gets the ball at least underneath to the drag route and gets some positive yards. And here comes the punter onto the field. He's on to boot it away now. Running it back, it's Thomas. And the coverage team makes the stop on this return. So the LSU Tigers offense gets their first crack now. And here we go, Kirk. This matchup on the edge that's going to go a long way to deciding this game. An elite wide receiver and a guy who doesn't believe anybody can beat him. This is going to be like a boxing match where it's an all-out battle. Two extremely gifted athletes competing on every snap. Better get your popcorn ready here. They tackle him at the 38. Solid game. Nice play there. Chris, it feels good to see an LSU team be able to run the football when you know they're going to run. I mean, they've been doing that forever. Going all the way back to like Jacob Hester and Kevin Falk. His ability to run the ball and catch out of the backfield. Leonard Fournette. And of course, Clyde Edwards Alaire on that great 2019 team. And now, LSU stable backs again on this roster, too. They don't block the defensive end who shows some quickness, Kirk, getting around the edge that time. Yeah, this guy's usually getting around the edge to put pressure on the quarterback, but he reminds everybody here that this guy's a complete package. Not only can he pressure the quarterback, but also he is very, very talented and shows you the physicality he has against the run as well. We'll try to run it with the option. No way to run up the middle. The game goes back to 1895, but as you know, it's begun to pick up intensity in this rivalry because they are always in each other's way in the SEC. Yeah, this rivalry doesn't necessarily have the history, even though it does go back to 1895, but you're right. Things seem to change when the SEC split 
East and West. It became a battle about who would represent the West, the winner typically between Alabama and LSU. It seems like every year from that point on, it's a game we all point to before the season even starts. This LSU offense is moving quickly down the field. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. And a decent gain there before the defense brings him down. I think this defense keeps thinking about them throwing the football, and by doing that, they're opening up running lanes. Good positive yards there by the running back. Just underway, and this home crowd is fired up and ready to make a difference today. Again, thrown out of the RPO, and it's complete. Tackle is finally made, but an explosive gain. They'll move it down to the 23-yard line. Well, it's great to see this quarterback from LSU make that throw and put it right on the money to pick up that first down. And I think that's the big thing that LSU fans want to see is consistency from the quarterback position. There have been moments where you've seen that. There have been other moments where they've been asking for more out of their quarterback. So you had the Burrow moment in 2019 that was historic, one of the best we've ever seen in the sport. But now you want to see throws like this and be a great complement to that running game. And then you become a complete package and a real threat to the SEC. Second down play coming up for this offense. From the shotgun, it's a handoff. That run produces a decent game. When you can get good chunks of yardage like this on early downs, it just keeps you on schedule, leading to more manageable third down situations. Never underestimate the value of consistently getting four more yards a pop like that. Eighth play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Dropping back, it's Nussmeyer. Defense is coming after him. And the junior able to get home with the sack. This is good pressure by the defense, but it just felt like the quarterback was holding on to the ball a little bit too long, which allowed the defense to get home. So on fourth down, the decision is to trot out the field goal team. This will be a 45-yard attempt. And that one's straight down the middle. Hold on, now there is a flag on the field. If it's on the defense, Personal still foul. wouldn't be a first down. Defense, defense. Cannot make contact with a kicker like that. Costly special teams penalty gets the offense back on the field. From inside the red zone, they're looking to throw. Makes the ground a chance to score. Defense reacts quickly, a very short game on the play. Love the timing here between the quarterback and his receiver. Pick up some positive yards. I continue to be impressed with just the, the chemistry between these two. Coming to the line on second down, this is important. They want to avoid a third and long. Quarterback pulls the ball. It's a keeper. And this one goes nowhere. Lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. That's exactly how you want to defend the option. You know, old school way is a sign of football. You have to account for the quarterback, the pitch man. Here, the quarterback had really nothing other than just kind of lower his head and get as much as he could. Fortunately for the defense, it wasn't very much. Drops back, needing a third down completion here. Caught near the goal line. That's a nice game to move the sticks here as time runs out in the first quarter. So Kirk, we reached the end of one. So far, a defensive stalemate here in the early stats illustrating the story. Getting set here now for the second period. Both offenses looking for some efficiency for a spark after that opening period. On the ground, trying to muscle it across the line. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. 
This is what I love to see from a defense is the linebackers are scraping doing their job, but you need help from the secondary. And when you have aggressive tacklers on the back end, you got a great defense. This time, the secondary makes the difference. Well, second down and goal. Trying to find the end zone off the right side. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Tigers! Chris, it's a great touchdown run here by this back. But the continuity this offensive line was on display, and that's the reason he was able to get into the end zone. So they'll try to add to the lead now with a PAT. PAT makes it 7 0. The kickoff team on the field now is they get set to send this one away. Fields it inside the five-yard line. Breaking through defenders. Tackled at the 22. Good job by the coverage team. So here comes the Alabama offense back out of the field. Last drive stalled. They were forced to punt it away. Let's see what they can come up with this time. Solid game there. Moves the ball out to the 32. Man, is he pretty to watch run this option. He is so dangerous with the threat to run or to throw. This time he keeps it himself and you can see how much ground he eats up with that kind of speed. How aggressive do you get on first and ten? Back goes in motion now. Let's see how the defense adjusts. Caught behind the line. It's Miller. But the play loses yardage. Very tough second down coming up now. This is not how you draw it up as an offensive coordinator. You got a first down play and you go backwards. Now you're behind the sticks, and that play just never seemed to have much of a chance at all. Important second down play coming up. Scanning the field, it's Milrow. Looks to the left for a quick throw. Makes the catch downfield. The stop is finally made, but it's a big game. Stopped at the 49. You know, Chris, if we would have told Bear Bryant that Alabama would have a wide receiver that won a Heisman in recent years, I don't think he would have believed us. But that's where we are. They've been some great ones in the past. And we're seeing some great-looking receivers on this unit right now. Alabama comes up to the line quickly. They'll run it from the gun. The game is three. Now it's second down and seven. You know, in an era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the defense has countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example of a defense. Has the ability to play wide, but still be solid at the line of scrimmage and not give up big run plays. The junior were able to bring him down quickly. Come up on third down. Solid drive. Defense trying to get off the field here. Dropping back. They're going to throw for the first down. That one is incomplete. The defender was right there, and it brings up fourth down now. Now, fourth down. And the punt team Number makes its way onto the field. And he'll kick it away now for the second time. And the punt goes out of bounds. The officials now will mark the spot. And that Mayu Bengals offense is back out on the field. Great possession last time. They punch it into the end zone. Can the defense come up with a stop this time? Unleashes the stiff arm. He's tackled short of the 30, but that's good enough for a first down. Well, how about that? Another LSU wide receiver makes a big-time catch for the Tigers' offense. Oh, just a couple names to throw out. 
How about OBJ? How about Justin Jefferson and Jamar Chase, who right now arguably two of the top receivers in the NFL, all from LSU. And watching this young man right here, he's hoping he's next in line. His play to the back. They've got him behind the line. The option doesn't work at all. Chris, I think we all kind of get caught up in third down. What, what is an offense doing on third down? But I think what's also important is how well you defend first down. If you can hold your opponents to a short gain or a tackle for a loss, you throw the offense out of whack, and their game plan gets much more challenging to try to come up with that first down. Makes the grab. It's Lacey. And the defense swarms. Not much of a gain on that completion. They're able to get a short gain to make this third down a little bit more manageable. But it is third and long. So this offensive line's got to be ready, do a good job of communicating, and pick up any potential blitzes here on third and long. On third down, he drops to throw. Doesn't hold on. Good hit by the DB. Now it brings up fourth down. Well, Chris, obviously they had to go through the air there to try to pick up this third down and long, but when you're so far behind the chains, but you really allow this defense to dictate things, and it allows them to put pressure on your quarterback and can affect the timing, as we saw in this play. And on fourth down, the punter sends it away. And the returner brought down by the coverage team. Alabama's offense coming back onto the field. They were forced to punt last time. Can they get this offense going finally? Get some points out of this possession. The pickup is five yards, so it's second down and five. This is a good, solid game. Five or six yards? Love to see that from the running game. Second down after that run on the previous play. going to run it here. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. So we reach the two-minute warning as this offense tries to take the lead here before halftime. Boy, this defense is strong up front. Linebackers are flying downhill, able to make plays against this run game. Now they get this offense to another third down. Now you pressure that quarterback and try to build on the lead. And he'll drop back here on third down. And he dumps it off to the tight end. They've got him at the 48, but that's a first down. What a clutch play here by this offense to convert on third down. I know it's still early in this game, but the fact that they've dug themselves a hole to convert there and keep this drive alive, they got a new set of downs and a chance to dig into this lead. So it's a first down here. The clock is stopped temporarily, but they'll get to the line quickly. To throw, it's Milrow. Quarterback finds a target on the right. It's complete. They make the tackle, but that's a solid game. Moves the ball to the 34. Defense kind of lost the running back here. Makes a nice catch and gets the first down in the process. About time this offense gets going. It's a first and ten. From the shotgun, drops back. Tight end makes the grab. Chris, this guy has a big time arm. He just zipped the ball in there. You know, you can sometimes show your arm strength in other ways than just bombing it deep. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? Back to throw again. Caught near the sticks. It's Miller. They bring him down, but not before he gains first down yardage. Well, here the defense decided to sit back and play zone, and that front didn't do a good job of pressuring the quarterback. He had the time to make the throw, and he put it on target. Alabama getting set for the first and ten now. Looking to throw it from the red zone. And he will score. Touchdown tied. Perfect timing here by this quarterback. Great read, puts the ball where his man can make a play on it, and they're an extra point away from tying this game up. And they'll set up for the PAT. And 
there's the point after. So after the touchdown, here's the kickoff, and we'll see if the opposing offense has time to answer before halftime. He'll return it from inside the five. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And here comes that LSU offense back onto the field. The last drive, they came up empty, had to kick it away. Can they come up with something here? Just gets the pass away, but took a shot that time. Second down, play off the incompletion. Back to pass. It's Nussmeyer. Pass ball is incomplete. There was a lot of contact. No penalty. Brings up third down. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. Call the counter run here. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Timeout called by the defense their first of the half as they try to make some adjustments here. Well, they run it right into a blitz, and that linebacker was coming downhill curve. Man, what a time to call that blitz here by the defensive coordinator. And you're right, he shoots right through that A gap. Really, the back had nowhere to go. By the time he got the ball in his hands, the linebacker's right in his face. Turner brought down by that coverage team. Here comes the Alabama offense onto the field. Time running out here in the first half. Wouldn't expect them to be too aggressive in this position. Cut quickly. Offense stops the clock with their second timeout and talk strategy. Just a good job here by the quarterback. Got the ball out to his receiver. His guy eats up some yards. They stay ahead of the sticks. Second down after that previous play. And he drops back in the gun. He's running out of time here. Quarterback takes off now, looking to scramble. And a quick timeout call by the offense after the play. So the offense looking to be efficient here. Not much time remaining before the end of the half. On first and ten here, looking to throw the ball. Who makes the grab? They bring him down, but a big chunk of yardage on the play. Miller's going to wrap up the first half here. Let's kick it down to Kevin Connors with our halftime update. Thanks so much, guys. And I need not tell you, rivalry games always bring out a ton of emotion. And no surprise, we saw just that in the first half today. And a compelling first half for a variety of reasons. Yes, there's a substantial need to talk about. But I think it all starts with this defense that has more than made its share big plays. If things keep trending in this direction, you can bet a ton of those backs and receivers are going to spend a lot of time in ice baths before the end of the day. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how this rivalry matchup plays out. Returner looking to create better field position. And he stopped in the 18. Returner trying to make a play, but a touchback would have been a better idea. Okay, so here comes the LSU offense back on the field. They get the second half started with their running play. Hat on the hat up front. Good job of opening up the holes. Anytime you can get positive yards on first down, that's a win. The game makes it second and medium. Grab down the middle. It's Taylor. Tackled, but only after picking up a fresh set of downs. That's what makes this tight end so dangerous. You can flex him out into that slot position. He shows you his versatility. He can be an inline guy that can block, but here he shows you what he can do with his hands. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? Off the play fake, looking to throw. That's a fly to the wide out. Caught over the middle. It's Lacey. He has first down yardage at the 46. 
Chris, is it possible to be DBU and wide receiver U at the same time? I think the LSU fans think it's possible. They always seem to have great defensive backs, and they always have pass catchers that just show up and show out week after week, year after year. They flip it to him on the jet sweep. One down after a seven-yard game, so it's second and three. And that jet sweep action puts so much pressure on a defense. You get so locked in on the ball attacking you downhill. But when offenses sprinkle this kind of offense in, it stretches this defense out wide and can create some vertical seams for big plays. Offense will keep it on the ground here. Great cut there. Running with purpose. And he picks up the first down before they get him to the ground. You know, offensive linemen are just a certain breed. They're always going to do their job, no matter who's back there carrying the ball. I tell you what, they have a little bit more confidence when the person that's carrying the ball can break off some big-time runs. That makes them block just a little bit harder, knowing what he's potentially capable of doing. And in first down, right back to the running game. Able to fight for a decent gain here in that running play. Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense take. Are they going to run? Maybe play action? Maybe throw the ball downfield? Here's the second down play. A quick throw out left, complete. He's tackled quickly, but the yardage is good enough for the first down. He's tackled. Looking downfield, it's Nussmeyer. The pass rush closing in. Couldn't find anybody open. He just has to throw it away. Second down play coming up. Off the play fake, looking to throw the football. Let's it go quickly. Beautiful catch right near the sideline. Gets the foot down. Tackle quickly at the 10, but now the offense really threatening to score. Well, this is a beautiful play when the timing is right, as we see right here. The receiver's got to do a good job of working his way back to the football as the quarterback is throwing it. The timing here is impeccable. And this big crowd doing everything possible to inspire this defense down here near the goal line. Tough running to avoid a loss, but just barely gets back to the line of scrimmage. That's a great play all around by this defense. Their first level defenders hold their own at the point of attack, allowing the second and third level players to roam free and make the tackle close to the line of scrimmage. And the crowd coming to life here trying to help this defense down in the red zone. They look to throw it here on second down. Catch hauled in here over the middle. Run down at the seven, but the completion moves him in the scoring position. This is an example of a quarterback in his offense just taking what the defense gives you. Not a huge play, but positive yards. The defense wants to give that throw to you. you take it, get the ball to your receiver, stay ahead of the sticks. Third and goal, looking to throw for it. Pressure is coming. Can't find anybody on third down, throws it away, and now fourth down coming up. Hey, the good news is here, Chris, they're still in field goal range, and they didn't cost themselves any points, but they could have more. They've got to be thinking about going for this on fourth and short. So a field goal attempt coming up now. They'll set up with a chip shot on the left hash mark. And that is no good. In the third quarter, this game remains tied. Boy, this guy's usually more reliable than this. I thought that was going to be an easy field goal in three points, but instead, he misses, so you walk away with nothing. Here comes the Crimson Tide offense onto the field. Which offense can get it going first? This one has been a struggle so far. From the shotgun now, here's a handoff inside. Got the first down, now looking for more. 
Tackle made after a solid run by the junior. Every now and then, we see a really good run. We tend to focus on what other people did in order for that run to happen, what the offensive line did. Maybe the receivers are blocking good on the edge. Sometimes, the running back is pretty good, too. And on that play, he picked up a lot of yards and made that happen with good effort. On first down, why not keep it on the ground? Tackle behind the line. It's a loss of two. Well, there's that excellent linebacker with a clear path just running downhill quickly. You know, I think one of the great things about watching this guy play all year is his vision. He just has great instincts. That time, the defensive line ate up all the linemen, freed up the linebacker to get into the backfield, and the result is a tackle for a loss for the backer. No run it. Hand it off to the run back. He stopped short of the marker after just a short game. Chris, you know, the spread era over the years has always grown offensively, but what I've been always impressed with defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and defend a running game. It's exactly what we saw right there. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. Receiver makes the catch, and the game just good enough for a first down. Well, it's third down. The defense knows he's going to get the ball. You still can't stop the quarterback finding this receiver to be able to pick up another first down for this offense. This Alabama offense is moving quickly down the field. Quick throw, catch made on the out route. That big game moves the ball across midfield all the way to about the 36. You know, plays like this are what Alabama offense is all about. They run the football, and then they're efficient within their passing game. Think about it. They won a couple national championships with Greg McElroy and A.J. McCarron by just being efficient and playing smart at the position and being a great complement to that running game in the defense. Alabama getting set with a first and ten coming up. Here's a quick throw off the play fake. Take it down, but not before he makes the first down. And as we wrap up the third quarter, check out the comparison of these big play wide receivers. Both guys have been lighting it up so far today. See how this one unfolds in the final quarter set to get underway. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. Looking to throw again. It's an out out. The catch made. And he's run out after a big game. The offense has been set up for a first down and goal. There's a really great job here with the quarterback and the receiver. This is all about timing. Quarterback gets back. No hitch in his delivery. Gets the ball out in front of the receiver where he can run away from the defender for a nice completion. First and goal. They'll try to run it in. Touchdown, Alabama. And they'll claim the fourth quarter lead. Boy, as a defensive coordinator, you've got to be careful being so worried about this pass game and this quarterback that you're a little bit soft up front and it costs you. It's exactly what happened here as they score this touchdown. And now the try here for the extra point. PAT is up and good. The lead by a touchdown here in the fourth quarter. Here's the kickoff team now. Set to boot this one away. And he takes this from inside the five. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And that Bayou Bengals offense is back out on the field.
opening play of the drive, he looks right for a completion. The tackle him at the 38. Solid gain. Nice play there. Well, defending this guy, you need more than one defender. You really got to stress rallying to the football because this guy can make people miss. Game moves the ball to the 38, another first down. Looking for some space, it's Williams. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, how about this defense? Just so physical against the run. These guys have not been able to do anything on the ground, and it's because of that defensive line and those linebackers taking away the run game. Getting set. Here's second down. To throw, it's Nussmeyer. Quarterback finds an open target on the left side. They make the tackle, but not before a solid gain on that pass. Defenses all around the country have got to do a better job of keeping an eye on these little guys from the slot. They can dismantle a defense with their speed and quickness in the open space. Can he get there on the ground? You know, even though that these guys are facing a deficit, they're not just going all through the air. Love the fact that you're running the football, keeping this defense honest, not panicking by just throwing every single down. Now you got a new set of downs and a chance to keep moving the ball down the field. This could be a dramatic finish, marching toward a tying touchdown. It's first and ten. And he's got it again. They make the tackle, but that's an excellent game. Moves the ball to the 33. Nothing better than an offense on first down to be able to pick up big, positive yards like that. You can either keep giving it to the back, or it can set up play action and get the defense to come up to the line of scrimmage, and you can throw it over top of it. First down here for this offense. It's a shotgun run call. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Chris, textbook job by the defense surrounding the runner and preventing that play from being bounced to the outside. Offense set for the sixth play in this drive. Now they'll switch it up, looking to throw the ball here. That's caught. It's Daniels. Receiver brought down after a short pitch and catch. Well, playing with the lead, good job by this defense to keep the receiver in bounds. Try to keep that clock moving, trying to secure a victory. So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. Fakes the handoff here, looking to throw it. Grab down the middle. It's Daniels. Tackle made after a nice pickup on the play. This is a big conversion by this offense. They're down now in the second half. Probably limited opportunities at this point in the game. Every chance you get your hands on the ball, you need points. They keep this drive alive right here. LSU getting set with a first and ten now. On the ground, it's Williams. That's a nice wrap up there by the junior. Coming to the line on second down, this is important. They want to avoid a third and long. Takes the handoff and tests the left side. Tackled behind the line, it's a loss of two. Chris, that play just didn't have much of a chance at all from the snap. Quarterback hands this off and just nowhere to go. It's almost like the defense was anticipating the play call. And they put themselves in a position to come up with a nice tackle for a loss. And here comes the noise. This crowd is trying to inspire this defense to make a big red zone stop. Drops back, needing a third down completion. And he'll loft it to the end zone. And the pass is incomplete just across the goal line. Oh, Chris, the quarterback and receiver just not quite on the same page there on that third down and long. But at this point in the game, you got to consider going for this. They need a touchdown. So here we go. Down one score. They're going to go for it on fourth down. Dropping back. It's Nussmeyer. There's a shot toward the end zone. Oh, they cannot connect. Really needed that 
completion instead. It's a turnover on downs. Oh, so close to executing here on the fourth down play in the fourth quarter. You're only down a possession. Now you got to rely on your defense to come up with a stop and get your offense back on the field. We head now to the two-minute warning as this offense tries to bleed out the clock and secure this win. Now it's second down here. And they'll keep it on the ground, trying to run some clock. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. This is a big third down play coming up. If they can get the stop, you have to believe we'd see a timeout. Going to run it. It's Miller. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. And now a timeout taken by the defense, trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. The punt team making their way on the field. On to kick it away. On the return, it's Thomas. And the coverage team able to bring the returner to the ground. And here comes that LSU offense back onto the field. So it's going to come down to this, Kirk. Can this offense execute when it matters most? Chris, it's a rivalry game. It's a two-minute drill. You work on this all year, especially this week. They've emphasized it. Now you get your opportunity. And don't forget about the defense out there. If they can get these guys off the field, they can secure a victory. The clock is still running. They've got to get set quickly. On first and ten, looking to throw. Tries to get it to the running back. Physical defending. That one falls incomplete. Brings up second down. God, this is the one thing I love about this running back is his ability to get involved in the pass game. Runs a great route, just doesn't come down with a catch. Completion makes it second down. The throw, it's Nussmeyer. Short pass finds the tight end. They bring him down after a short gain there. Man, give the defense a lot of credit. You're taking away the elite receiver. That primary target forces the quarterback to find a second or third option. He gets positive yards, but anytime you can take away the big play late in the game, it's going to help you be able to secure victory. They crank up the tempo here for this important third down play. Didn't quite get the playoff in time. It'll be delay of game. Delay of game. Quarterback lost track of the play clock and it cost the offense five. Now it's third and long for this offense. Football right at midfield. Drop in back. We're going to throw for the first down. The sure hands. It's Thomas. The game picks up the first down, tackled at the 37. And the coach quickly calls timeout after the play, trying to hold on to as much time as possible. Looking to throw it on first down. Gets made on the out route. And he's out of bounds after gaining decent yardage. The key here, Chris, is the timing by the quarterback. The fact he got the ball out quickly gave his receiver a chance. One more hitch, a slight hesitation, and that's an incompletion or an interception. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. On the shotgun, he's probing the secondary. Quick throw to his receiver. And he's got his man open downfield. And he'll step out of bounds to stop the clock. That is perfect execution there. Well, I'll tell you what. This guy's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. And here we are late in the game. He needs to continue to play with that consistency. That's a great example that he's up to. Big opportunity for the offense to tie this game up in the fourth quarter. It's first and goal. And he just throws the ball away there. Nobody open. Excellent coverage.
And the crowd coming to life here trying to help this defense down in the red zone. Back to throw. It's Nussmeyer. Sails it way high out of the end zone and incomplete. Now that's going to bring up a critical third down here as we're late into this football game and a drive where they need points. This quarterback's got to take control of this huddle, make sure everybody's on the same page. You have multiple plays that you can go to, whether it's a run or a pass, but you've got to come up with a first down. Third and goal, looking to throw the ball. But just gives up on the play, throws it away, and now it's fourth down. Oh, he just missed his receiver there on third and short. Now you got to think in the fourth quarter, fourth and short, you got to try to cut into this lead. You might want to go for this here to keep thinking about six points. So trailing in the final quarter of a close game, we're going to go for it on fourth and goal. Here's the snap, looking to throw here. And the pass is incomplete. A crucial misfire here late in the game. And the ball will turn over on downs. Shotgun formation. Here's an inside handoff. And he's brought down there, and that will do it for the game. 